Yo, 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 we back again today, guys. We're talking about another person, important person of African descent that has done uh, very important things um, and has just diagnosed a new disease that no one ever knew about. So today we'll be talking about a man. There's actually a movie out about him played by Will Smith called Concussion. And today we will be talking about Dr. Bennett Omalu. Yes, Dr. Bennett Omalu. So, yo, let's get right into it. Dr. Bennett Omalu is a forensic pathologist and was born in 1968 in southeastern Nigeria and is one of seven siblings. Dr. Omalu is famous for publishing the first findings of CTE, or better known as chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And that's a mouthful, right? And in American football players, this is what he found, uh, this disease in American football players while studying the brain of deceased or dead NFL players. Now, Dr. Omalu, in his earlier life, was born during the uh, Nigerian Civil War, and in which him and his family uh, fled to a village that was predominantly of the Ibu ethnicity or ethnic group. And soon after, around two years later, he and his family returned to their village and his father was a community leader um, as well as a civil mining engineer and his mother was a seamstress. Dr. Amalu began school at the age of three years old and then moved on to secondary school. When he was 16, he attended medical school at the University of Nigeria as well. Soon after, uh, soon graduating with a bachelor's in surgery and medicine and then completing an internship as well as serving three years in a mountain village, he soon after moved to the United States. Due to the president um, in Nigeria not winning, or the one that he thought should win, not winning the presidential elections. Now, moving to Seattle first in 1994 to complete an epidemiology fellowship at the University of Washington. Then in 1995, moving to New York City, where he trained at Harlem Hospital Center through Columbia University. Um, after his time in New York, he trained in Pittsburgh as a, at a coroner's office, and at this time, he became very interested in neuropathology. Mythology. Now, uh, Omalu holds eight advanced degrees and board certificates as well. He holds master's degree in which or in such fields as business administrative and public health. Omalu is currently chief medical examiner at UC Davis in California. Amalu is most famously known for uh, discovering CTE, and in 2002, Amalu did an autopsy on former Pittsburgh Steelers center Mike Webster. Now, Mike Webster died unexpectedly one day and struggled with such things as depression, mood disorders, and intellectual impairment. Although after Mike's death, his brain looked normal, Amalu conducted a self-finance independent analysis on uh, Mike's tissues. Um, or brain tissue. Amalu suspected that Mike suffered from dementia and which was known to happen in boxing or in the boxing world from repetitive blows to the head, to the brain, to the head. Now using a staining method, Amalu found large accumulations of tau protein in Mike's brain. This protein affects emotions, mood, and important functions uh, that the body uses or the brain uses. And this is also similar to Alzheimer's disease as well. Amalu, uh, along with colleagues from the University of Pittsburgh, published his findings in 2005. And in the paper, Amalu called for further study of the disease in retired football players. Now, Amalu thought the NFL doctors would love uh, to hear his findings, but the NFL said that Amalu was completely wrong and called his research a failure. Amalu then later partnered with uh, a concussion researcher and a lawyer and, a, and established a brain tissue bank. In November 2006, Amalu published a second paper, and this paper was based on the findings of former NFL player uh, Terry Long, who also suffered depression and committed suicide in 2005. Amalu also found a high concentration of tau protein in Terry's brain. This concentration of protein was more consistent with a 90-year-old's brain with advanced Alzheimer's disease. Now, Amala believed that a long NFL career has caused depression and can cause depression and later brain damage. And Amalu also found CTE in other NFL players such as Andrew Waters. Now, in 2007, Amalu and his partner presented their findings to the NFL commissioner, Roger Goodell, at the league-wide commission summit. And the research was dismissed and the NFL said that in their opinion, this case was only scientifically valid for boxers. 
Now, the NFL did, however, publicly uh, acknowledge CTE in two, December 2009, in which was seven years after Amalu's discovery of CTE. So today we learn about Amalu, Dr. Amalu, and him finding out about CTE in a new disease that um, develops in uh, people's heads that have constant damage or constant uh, um, hitting from other uh, other object or other people, whatever it might be, boxing or football, but more so football in this instance. And there was also uh, run-ins with, uh, you know, such agencies as the FBI. Um, three weeks before he published um, his findings, the FBI raided and went through pit papers and things of that nature. So there was also ups and downs and struggles with him getting his research out, but he finally did. And today we learned about another person of African descent that has done important things for the world and for people. And maybe this could save lives down the road. Um, you know, we only have to wait and see. So as always, yo, to all my African people or people of African descent around the world and to everyone else that's watching, yo, I'm out. One love. Peace. What's up, what's up? Hey! Shalom! What up? Hi! Hi!